What's up guys, Brownie here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. The Fusion is live for Versolf the Grim. We have the dates of all the events and tournaments. We're going to look at the Fusion plan and I'm going to admit right away that it is very different and I got screwed here a little bit because I predicted something and it did not happen. But such is the way of Plarium. They keep changing up things. So let's jump right into the video. Even though the summon rush is different than what I had predicted, we're still going to summon a few shards tonight because it is a pretty decent 10x event, at least for myself. I have one of my most wanted champions in there, so I will be doing this tonight on stream at 7.30 Eastern time. We should also have a giveaway if you guys want to show up for the fun. And also one more quick reminder that if you guys want to support the stream or the channel, you can always download Vikings War of Clans on PC and get through the tutorial, which would help me tremendously. I hope to see you guys tonight. As I explained yesterday, I'm basically not really prepared for this fusion in the sense that I don't really have any saved up energy. Basically, a couple extra tokens. I don't have anything sitting in my events or tournaments whatsoever. I still need to finish this here today, the Dungeon Divers event, as I said I would to get the last legendary tome. But I did wait for today to finish it because I knew we were going to have some kind of tournament, which we do. It is the Spider Tournament. Tournament. So I'm going to be farming this here, uh, which I might complete same day. But in the plan, I'm going to assume I would not finish this today as if you guys were doing this. So anyway, I'm going to have to obviously buy a lot of extra energy with some gems. So I basically haven't really spent gems so far to get to where I am in that Dungeon Divers event. Uh, then just going to do the regular stuff here, you know, quest, advanced quest, whatever. And as for my shards, I do have a few, obviously, which is why I can summon no problem today. But again, the summon rush, to my surprise, does not have an extra 15 fragments as I thought it would. And in fact, the values in here are quite different. And this is not the only thing that is very different in this fusion. So let's go check out the plan. Plan. In addition to the summon rush not having an extra 15 fragments, we have three artifact enhancement events. I would assume the milestones are going to be lower overall because there's three events, but don't count on it because we don't know, right? Uh, we're going to find out a little bit later. Classic arena takedowns, for example, we also have three. So I, I would assume that's where the extra 15 fragments from the summon rush went. Instead of having more easily accessible fragments in here, they're kind of spreading them out into more events and more tournaments. This is not the end of the world. It's still relatively doable, but it might uh, remove some options for you guys, right? Also, for the summon rush, instead of being 330 points for the first milestone and then 1,070 for the second one, the first one is at 1,070 points. This is a little bit unusual. We used to have one right here and then the second one right there. And if there was a third one, it was around here. But now they're slowly pushing this further up as well. So is this the new norm? We shall see. I still have to spend four sacred shards to get here, not the end of the world. But if you guys have uh, had predicted it, you were only going to spend two to get both milestones. Well, a little bit harder. Hopefully now you guys can still do it. Artifact enhancement event. We're going to find out the values eventually. I am putting two of them relatively low, one a little bit higher. That's usually how they do it total amount of silver will be roughly 22 million for myself dungeon divers events we have two of them the second one being i think a day longer has 15 fragments instead of just five now we don't usually have this it's uh for the last ones i believe both of them were at five each right artifact enhancement no sorry dungeon divers both of them were at five fragments each so I'm eager to see how this is going to be uh, split up for the three fragments. It might be a five, 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 and a five and a 10. So again, we'll find that out a little bit later. Champion training event looks pretty standard. Champion chase tournament, I would assume is also going to be standard. I will probably do a fusion of Broadma and then do the rest of the milestones in ancient shards because it should be a 2x ancient shard event. Classic arena takedown, three of them not the end of the world for uh end game players especially if you're in gold four it really doesn't change anything for you because this is easily doable within the first date if you are in a lower tier then you might end up having to spend a few extra tokens maybe between these because they're so close together so uh, again do try and prepare for that right fire knight 
Ice Golem, Dragon, and Spider, I would assume are all going to be a very standard, uh, usually doable within the second day of the tournament if you are farming stage 20. And again, here I do recommend you do stage 20, not 24, not 25, because don't forget, you are getting better uh, tournament points if you are doing stage 20 over the other ones. Then we have for the champion training tournament, probably also is going to be very standard. So all this said, it does look doable. It doesn't seem like I'm going to require a ton of extra gems, even though I kind of got screwed here by the extra fragments from the uh, not being in the summon rush. So let me quickly break down here what I think I'm going to do. Uh, definitely the summon rush, right? In fact, I'm probably going to push a little bit further up, try and get a legendary tome. Artifact enhancement events, kind of easy for me to do i always have enough silver now classic arena takedowns of course champion chase tournament absolutely all four dungeons yep that's usually pretty easy to do for my account then dungeon divers events they usually get done while you're doing the tournaments so definitely going to probably assume the first two milestones again depending on how this is uh this is done so they are there goes sorry 90 fragments then we got to get an extra 10 I would assume the first milestone in the champion training event is the way to go. And I'm I'm thinking I'm going to do less food here because we're starting with the summon rush and only opening sacred shards. You don't generate a ton of food when you do that unless you decide to do two sacred shards and like a thousand mystery shards to create more food for your champion training event. Great way to do it. But I just don't think I'm going to do that myself. And perhaps I could have one more fragment here coming from the champion training tournament. The first one, the easiest one to get for a total of 100 fragments. Okay, so this is somewhat my plan going forward. There is 120 fragments overall, which should be doable for you guys. All right, so kind of adjust what you're gonna do on a daily basis it should be pretty easy there is some kind of like a gap here from what i've kind of broken down for myself for these two day days sorry right here uh which is also a little bit unusual because we do seem to have more time to complete this one over the previous fusions so if we go all the way to the end here it does seem like we have either two or maybe even three days over the previous fusions we've had so far so i guess it's nice but uh because there's a gap I, i'm not quite sure what this really means but anyway this is pretty much it hopefully you guys are also able to get this guy versus the grim again for the faction crypt certainly will help you quite a bit to complete it if you don't have lydia yet might also be pretty a, a pretty good champion sorry for the um progression right uh, apparently he hits relatively hard has decent multipliers on this skill right here uh maybe as hard as sir nick or within kind of like that range so again a decent champion it is a legendary i always said to try and get all the legendary champions you can in this game because you never know either if they're going to get buffed we might get a new synergy with these champions and also you can save up this fragment fusion for a later date when you need more points for another champion chase tournament for another fusion of a, another legendary right so in other words i mean just try and go for it complete as much as you can and if you think you're that close then go ahead and try and complete it thank you so much for watching guys and i'll catch you later